Hartit. That means, hello, how are you in Holland? Because this week on Living It Loud, we're in Amsterdam. Well, it's a lovely, I don't see the sun, but it's a lovely day. And here I am at the dam. Now, the dam is where the Queen Beatrice's palace is, the Queen of Netherlands. And we're actually going to pop in and have a talk to her. Now, apparently she's, she speaks, but then she doesn't speak. This is Queen Beatrice. She is the Queen of the Netherlands. And thank you for inviting me. Queen Beatrice doesn't want to talk to me, but I've got a son here who's also going to be the future king and his lovely wife. Um, how, how does it feel to be a king? Family are very, you know, snobby. Of course I've run into Kylie. Kylie, how are you going? Kylie. You know what? I'm here at Madame Tussauds, and this is the real Kylie Knot. But, uh, We've got the famous singer here, as well as... A Hello! Oh. Merry Christmas! <laughs> you're a big Christmas tree. Oh, you're a little man. I'm an elf. Oh, yeah! Fly away! <laughs> so what's going on in there today? Today, it's uh, almost Christmas Day. And today we have a famous Dutch person here. His name is Gordon. <laughs> he has his own statue here. Hello! <laughs> Gordon's got a, his own statue. Yes! Do you know Gordon? He's the famous Dutch singer, of course. Yes! And he's the famous too. Say hello, I guess another one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got Lennon here, we've got Gorbachev. We're going to come through and get to see all the celebrities here in one room. Nicholas Cage. I including hair on the chest. Look. Oof. Eddie Murphy, and very funny Eddie Murphy. Now Brad Pitt, he's actually made of silicon instead of wax, so you can actually touch him and he actually feels like skin. And say so look, I can move his ear a little bit, and apparently you can grab his bum, which is really quite firm. Yeah, and I'm sure everybody comes here and grabs his, his bum. But, like, you can twitch his nose and talk. Has anyone ever kissed him? I wonder. But apparently so. And he doesn't look too impressed. You can let go of my bum now, thanks. Guess what? It's the real Michael Jackson because I felt his skin and yes, it's real. This one looks real. Oh, he is. Oh, sorry. It's hard to tell. And of course, the lovely Lady Diana. These are actually real height. So, they're replica. They're all made in London. Uh, everything is shipped over. Now, Madame Tussauds has been here in Amsterdam for over 35 years. There is one opening up soon in Shanghai. That'll be the latest. You can also find Madame Tussauds in London, where it began. Also, Las Vegas. We're having Battle of the Bikes here with Oprah and also uh, Mel Gibson, which I'm interviewing. And Oprah, you can just push off. You know, this is my show. The Queen of Pop has to have everything. But come over here, past Dame Edna, of course. Hello, possums! To Beckham and Posh Spice. Now, they're a new addition to Madame Tussauds here and they're only here for a short time before they're whisked off to Shanghai. So this is a moment to see the very famous lovely couple. Stand next to J-Lo and dress like her because she is also rare because she's actually got a butt made on her where a lot of the statues are just legs joined to a torso and that's it. So if you want a photo moment, just pop on a dress and and J-Lo will do the rest. What's the attraction with Madame Tussauds? 
Uh, for me, uh, the the uh, golden age, yeah. uh, the era, that, that's, that, that was fantastic. I so mean, you've come for the history. That's right, yes, yes. And of course, the modern ones, of course, they are in, in London I've seen, but... Uh, Who's your favorite? No, I think the Dutch Queen. The Dutch Queen? Ah, oh, so you're a bit of a royalist. Kind of, yeah, you can say that. So you don't like the English Queen then? Not particularly, but... Let's tell her that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to London next week and I'm going to tell her that. No, but I think the Dutch Queen, she's, she's very modest. She's very sort of, you know, uh, if you're lucky, you might see her sometimes on the street. Oh, okay. Crossing the street like You're that. kidding me. A royalty just walking the street? Yeah. Well, at the Headshot, now this is one of the oldest, oldest places since 1968 started selling everything you need for smoking marijuana. Now we're going to talk to William. He's almost the oldest running retailer for everything you could have for pipes for smoking, correct? More or less correct, yes. So can you tell me, uh, you've been here for so many years, what's the change been like over the years? Well, when we started, it was very much a shop for people that were traveling to the east and come back with the things that they bought and that they wanted to sell over here, you know, and we took them in and put them in a book and sold them for them and paid them after that, you know, that was basically was the beginning. How did you get to be one of the most famous shops in Amsterdam? We were the first, which was a thing in itself, you know, because when we opened, uh, we always opened at 10 or 11 in the morning, you know, they were... That's early. <laughs> Queuing, queuing up till the corner, you know, and the shop was not here but in another location. It was very small and there was somebody at the door letting in like 15 people. Close the door and then out and in and out. What's popular at the moment? Well, little simple pipes uh, are popular and grinders, you know, to uh, grind the weed to a uh, well workable uh, substance. The smell of marijuana is everywhere here, correct? In essence, it's a cologne of Amsterdam. The streets, I would say, not so much in here, although people come walking in with a joint and officially uh, I'm not allowed to smoke here, but we still say, okay, you know, it's your choice and uh, why not? It has just turned bitterly cold because we're, you know, in the middle of December. And I'm at Rembrandt Square, where a very famous Rembrandt painting has been turned into a sculpture. Well, here I am inside the Night Watch 3D in Rembrandt Square, which is an original painting by Rembrandt, the Night Watch painting in a sculptural form. This is only here for a short time, but something to see. Hello. Hi. Oh, you speak English? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, so you're obviously not Dutch then? No, not, not quite. Where are you from? Um, I'm Spanish originally, but uh, I'm from England. I was going to say the English accent. So, what brings you to Holland? Uh, well, mainly came here because of love. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell, tell me about that. Oh, you don't want to know, honestly. It's, it's all gone now. Oh, it's all gone. So, you came yeah. over to Holland from England for love. That's right. Yeah. So, how long have you been here? A year and a couple of months. Well, there you go. So, uh, what are some of the things to do in Holland then? Well, there are quite a few things to do, actually. I mean, it's a nice place to be. There's, um, well, coffee shops, as you do. Oh, yeah. Smoking and well, eating yeah. mushrooms and stuff like that. All that kind of thing. All very helpful, yeah. all very nice. You can always go to the Red Light District as well to have a good time. Uh, not really, it's not my cup of tea, no. Okay, right behind me is the very famous Red Light District to Amsterdam. And it is somewhat of a scary place during the day and even more so at night. One thing is for sure is you're not allowed to film in the Red Light District. The ladies sit in front of the window. We just walked through basically with our camera and we've already been attacked twice. So, something that I'm not going to film for your pleasure because I don't want to risk losing my new camera. But uh, basically, Red Light District is very known in Amsterdam for lots of sex, drugs, and a little bit of rock and roll. Okay, we're not allowed to film here, but it's the Red Light District. I've got to get a hooker. I'm going to see if we can uh, find one. So, because they, what they do is you come in these little places and they stand at the windows and they tap and you just pick the room. So, we'll go inside. This is the, you're not normally allowed to do this, so we'll just, we'll see. Just walked into the lady's house and. 
I tell you, they're very, very persistent. And this one allowed me to see how much? 50 for what? For your, what, what is, how much? What are you gonna do? For what? Oh, hang on. We'll go in and see if we can get some action. How about 40? 40. 40, 40, no, 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 45. No, no, no. 45. No. Look, Look big tits, 45. They're juicy? Very juicy. Nice and wet. You're wet. Wet. Safe? For you, come baby. Safe? Come baby. All right, we'll, we'll go in and check it out. There's like different rooms with everybody. <gasps> Room. Okay. Let's just take. A, I'm in the. I'm in the little room with Alexandra. She's. Uh, I've had to pay her some money, not for sex, but for the interview. Um. Yeah. How long have you been doing this, Alexandra? Not too long, baby. How many people do you do in a day? Oh, about. Uh, I don't know. Maybe 20, 30. 20, 30. Yes. Oh my God. But I have time for you. So tell me, you are so hard. I'm scared. Can we go home now? Um, what about your pimp outside? He's a bit brutal, isn't he? He's yeah. dangerous on the streets. No, no? he's okay. Oh. If you pay a bit of money, you're okay. But you save with me. Save with me. So uh, how much? No, it's okay. No, we just need to really. Just, I just want to talk. It's okay. Um, I think I need to go. You're scaring me. You come back soon, you come back later. I'll send some friends. I'll send friend, some you come when back the camera's later. off. Okay. Right. You come back later. Bye darling. Bye. Oh, it's cold out there. And to keep warm, you need an authentic Dutch pub. And we're here at the Windmill Bury. Brouwers A. Brouwers A. What does that mean? Brewery. Brewery. Yeah. Brewery Amsterdam. And you make your own beers. Yeah, we, does. we do. Yeah. And this is where you make it? Yeah, on the back. So how, how many different types of beer do you make? Um, eight types of beer. Okay. Beer, heavy beer, light beer, everything. Now, I noticed in Holland when you pour a beer, you give a really good head. Yeah, that's right. Where did that come from? Because other countries, they don't like that. Some countries, they do. Why do we have uh, eggs? No, not eggs. Eggs. He, he's doing eggs. He's making Easter eggs. Look, he's, look at this. What is this? An Easter egg. Is that what you call art? Nay. You just keep painting your egg. Like uh, cursing in the church. Church. <laughs> yeah. So, is there a special technique to pouring the beer here? Because you you wipe it off the top with a little. We don't. No. 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 You, you want to make your own beer? Oh, can I? All right. How do I do this? I think this is my favorite egg. <laughs> You're still good. That is a good egg. That's good. good. The, nice. the Dutch are artists. So how am I going to pour a beer? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Who wants the beer? Anyone want a beer? <laughs> this is the same difference. Yep. So straight on. Yeah. Hold there. No, 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 no. no. Oh, I think it's too much froth. Uh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, perfect, yeah. What did you have? Zotta. Zotta. Zotta yeah. What's that one? Um, well, it means like you're really uh, drunk. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. So it's strong. <laughs> yeah, really strong. Well, eight yeah. percent. Wow. Yeah. Give me two of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and the other flavors that you do? Um, well, uh, we have double beer. Uh, What's a double beer? Double beer. You know Belgian beer? Oh, Belgian beer. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you've got triple beer, uh, double beer, everything. So. You just do the lot. Yeah. We're here in the front window, mind you, of the cabaret setup with a celebrity, Christo, who's also producing, directing cabaret here in Amsterdam. Tell me about it. How did you get this gig? 
Well, actually, I was asked to be starring in the show, and uh, that eventually didn't work out. I said, well, but I really, I really have so much things and ideas about this show. I said, well, okay, we have an American director who's directing it. Actually, it's the associate of Sam Mendes, who, who directed American Beauty. So he made this version of Cabaret. So how does it differ from other versions? Well, the other versions are very polished, like Liza Minnelli, and she's, she's like, it's, it's beautiful, everything is clean. But this is really raunchy, rough, and, and yeah, rustic, very rustic. Very German, Dutchish <laughs> kind of naughtiness, is it? Definitely, definitely. There's some, some, some scenes in there you can, you can show on TV. Oh, really? No. Typical Dutch, nudity. Oh, well. <laughs> well, 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 kind of, kind of, kind of. Ah. yeah. Now, yep. There's someone uh, very famous in, in the uh, musical as well. That's right. It's your mother. It happens to be my mother. Yes, it's true. And now, she's known around town. Tell us a bit about what your mother does in Holland. Well, she's like, I don't know. Although A-list, my, although A-list celebrity. Mother, although it's my mother, I can tell. She's, she's one of the, 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 the greatest actresses. Okay. alive right now and uh, she's been doing television movies and lots of theater but this will be her musical debut she's going she's 65 you've got a picture there yeah we're gonna have a show picture of mum 65 looking 65, all right but she, this is going to be her musical debut and she's going to f- sing for the first time and i wow. heard her sing it's beautiful really really you've got a director how, how is that no, does she take no, orders from you like when we go see each other's place we always comment on each yeah. other so this time is go- i'm going to be paid for it uh-huh. by commenting on her <laughs> So how's she doing so far? <laughs> well, I heard her sing and that was, as I said, was pretty good. And of course, I mean, she's a great actress. Is she doing, what role is she doing? The Liza Minnelli role or? No, 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 no. no. She's doing Fraulein Schneider. She's like uh, the, um, the landlady. Okay. And she puts up with all these people who are running around and, and you know, all these things that happened in the 30s in Berlin. And she had to wear the corset and all that sort of stuff or is she sort of taming it down for 65? Right, <laughs> turning it down, turning it down. Well, how long is the show going to be running for? Half a year. Half a year. So into July, and if it's going to be success, they're going to, yep, prolong it. That's you can give me a number now, can't you? Come on, give me a number on the chair. A number? Yeah, give me a number. What do you mean, to sing? Yeah, go on. No. <laughs> oh. How dare you? <laughs> we're, we're in the cabaret set. <laughs> Putting well, you on the spot, aren't I? There's, there, there's one song which is pretty cute. With uh, there's two gay guys yeah. and there's a, a girl and there's a monkey okay. involved, and they sing like, "Dos chicas twiddle di di di, dos chicas twiddle di di di, dos chicas do." I like it, he likes it, they like it, and then they do all kinds of stuff behind a, a curtain because they can't show the real. So you're thing. mixing, you're mixing a bit of English and the Dutch language yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Money, money makes the world go round, the world go round. That one stays the same pretty much. We all know the old favourites. Well, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Our celebrity on Living It Loud in the front window. <laughs> all right. And everyone's watching. Well, we're here at the famous flower market. This place has been here for how many years now? More than 50 years. 50 years. More than 50 years. Now you've been, you're the only place that really sells cut flowers. There are some other places in Amsterdam. It's uh, some other markets. One of them is called the Albert Kuip Market. Yep. But this is the special place. You're known for it. That's right. So what is it about the Dutch tulip that the Dutch took on? Yeah, I, I, I think originally it's from Turkey. Yeah. But it is uh, something in the world that you have to take a souvenir from Holland. If you come in Holland, what do you take? Well, you take cheese, sometimes chocolate, but the most times you take tulips. Well, this one, that's the better one. Are you taking this home? Yeah. Where's but home? Where's home? Yeah. Uh, Paris. Paris? Ah, so, so what, do you drive here? Yeah. How far? A couple of hours? Um, five hours. Five hours, all that way to get a windmill. So what, what do you like about Holland? Um, the Wunavel. Yeah, the Wunavel. Your English is great for French, I must say. Because the French usually, you know, they're afraid to speak English. Yeah. So you don't find the language barrier in Holland a difficult thing? Um, your language is very difficult to pronounce. Yeah. Like wunderbar. Yeah. <laughs> but you're getting there. You're learning Dutch. It's all double Dutch, really, isn't but, it? Uh, you speak a lot of English, and yep. that's very useful for us.
one of the most spectacular places in Amsterdam is the oldest theatre here in Holland. It started in 1921. It's a combination of Art Nova, Art Deco and Amsterdam School. Now what does Amsterdam School mean? Well basically Amsterdam artwork. So have a look at the spectacular prints on the walls and just ripping with the Art Nova Art Deco style. One of the newest attractions in Amsterdam is the Amsterdam Dungeon and I'm joined with Vibe. Tell me all about it. Just been here, what, nine weeks? Yeah, we opened nine weeks ago and we're a new feature in uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, we take the visitor back in 80 minutes, horrible history of Amsterdam. Horrible history, not yeah. the fun stuff. No, not the fun fluffy stuff, really horrible history. You don't get it in the books anymore. Okay, so tell us a bit about the history. What are we going to see in there? All right, we're going to take you back to a uh, torture part uh, around 1600, uh, back to the VOC. Yeah. Uh, and the music in the ship, we build a complete room into a ship. So we're inside a ship, cannons go off. Uh, we have nine professional actors doing 12 different shows, like the VOC. Uh, this is full on. Yeah, this is full on, yeah. So you get tortured as well. Yeah, you get tortured. With 12 too. actors. Yeah, 12 actors. It's really interactive. So Welcome to the dungeon. <laughs> we take you back, of course, to uh, the time that the plague was in Amsterdam, 1664. Uh, more than 30,000 people were killed. Uh, through the plague and at the end you're walking there in the old street of Amsterdam uh, without any protection so yeah as if it's you, you're you not selling to... this too well I kind of want to leave now no, I just you, don't, you want, to don't want to go in no you don't want to you, 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 you want you want to have to have uh, 80 minutes of exciting exciting okay so how much is it if people want to come in and just see it all right it's 1750 for an adult yeah uh, for child it's 1150. And as I say, you get uh, 80 minutes of uh, Shiv, terror. Yes. Of your life. Yes. We're going to experience some some real Dutch food, Dutch lekker food. Lekker meaning lovely. Got hamburgers. Well, you can get them anywhere. But uh, the Stratkrut, which is like a croquetcha. Okay. One euro twenty. And open it up. You get your little surprise food. All right. So if you don't speak Dutch, it can be like a little mystery thing. This is lekker, yeah. What is it about the olibolly for you? What is it about? It's it's a tradition. Tradition. Yes. You come here traditionally. No, no, I don't come here traditionally, but we eat this tradition. So how many olibollies would you normally eat in a year then? Uh, I only eat them uh, on the end of the December. Ah, holiday season. Oh, yes. yes. So what is your favourite? Uh, this is my favourite. Plain. Uh, my favourite is the ones I make myself. Oh, you make them? Yes. Oh, we should be going to your house and you show me how to make olibolly? Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. So how, many, how many do you make? How do I make it? How many, yeah. Oh, how many? Well, probably 30. 30? Yes. Oh, you'll be busy. 